King of War Crimes to the 10th power. Now, there is a such thing as collateral damage. I can say that if any of our military members did something like that, they'd be in jail. No ifs, ands, buts about it. This stuff is crazy. And, and yeah, when you go to war, you hit military targets. You don't target civilians. Like, but then when you look at this, again, when you step back and look at this, it's like, why? What is this for? What are you trying to prove? Like, like because they don't want to be communists, because they want to be a democracy, because they want to join NATO so they can have protections. Like, I can't get into this dude's head. I'm not going to try. But all I can do is sit there, sit back and say, this is crazy. I totally agree with you. Again, I just I'm, I'm trying to keep my emotions out of it, man. Because again, when I I think of human life, mm-hmm. if anyone has a freaking soul, like how do you attack civilians? Like these these are again human freaking beings and you're attacking them unarmed again it's it just like walking up the street somebody going to work minding their own business and out of nowhere somebody attacks them yep ah it, it just frustrates me to have an hell but anyway i keep cool uh, thoughts on Russia citizens being arrested for to- protesting the war. That's what happens when you live in that type of government. Um, <clears throat> you know, I know a lot of people complain, bitch, gripe, and whine about <laughs> our government and shit, but we don't have to worry about that. Like, for simply disagreeing with the war, you go into jail. That's what they do over there. Um, They control TV over there. They control internet over there. They control everything over there. Um, <clears throat> But to be fair, for the vast majority of them, it's not as bad as we see it, but just to think that if you protest something that you don't like that the government is doing, you can go to jail, that's crazy. That is crazy, crazy. And I I could not imagine not having the freedom to dislike something because I have a soul, because I I, I cherish human life. J- just imagine living under those conditions. Yeah, it's it's a whole nother world, they say. For speaking out or protesting, those people, I'm gonna call them brave. Um, I know some people may may disagree with me um, on that sentiment, but if you live in a country where you know that speaking out against uh, things of this nature, you know, against injustice against humanity, mm-hmm. will get you thrown in 
a Russian prison. And from what I've heard, it's not the, the nicest place in the world. To be. <laughs> right. 